Hey doing folks, it's fine. Ron's Beard and Tools. It is now time for a cold can of beer. As you see in front of you, from Castle Island Brewery over in Norman, Massachusetts. This is a candle pin, called candle pin. A hoppy session IPA. Candle pin, hoppy session IPA. Ale says it's all strikes, no gutters. Candle pin is in any time beer. Scratch that. Kingpin is in every time beer. <laughs> we brew it with Columbus and Citra for big hop flavor in a tight, crushable, easy drinking package. Alright, go on with that. As you can see in front of this can from uh, Norwood, Mass. A little information on the brewery. Uh, let me get rid of, rid of the glasses. Uh, Alright, uh, that's much better. Not that convenient. All right, this Castle Island Brewery is located at 31 Astor Ave, Norwood, Massachusetts. Should you want to go there or get some information, the number is 791-951-2029. Norwood, Mass is southwest of Boston, along the Route 128 belt around Boston, Massachusetts. It's, that's where Norwood is on the 128 belt. Southwest of uh, Boston. Okay, uh, this brewery, the founders, uh, two gentlemen, President now, Mr. Adam Romanow, and uh, Mr. Matt DeLuca. Two founders, and uh, Matt, Matt De, Mr. Matt DeLuca is also the head brewer. This very started, the very seed started in 2010 for these gentlemen. Uh, Adam became a brewer and apprentice in uh, 2010, and they really wanted to have a brewery and they, they went from um, 2010 to I think it was 2015 uh, they really did a lot of work yeah to 2015 is when the warehouse opened they found a 20,000 foot square foot warehouse and in December 2015 the brewery took took shape uh, excuse me excuse me yeah okay um, okay what else we got like I said 2010 2015 they Researched the beers. They were looking for land. They found a building to lease, and uh, the rest is history. It is now uh, popular in the Boston area. I don't know what the distributorship is on this, but this candle pin hoppy session ale is 4.4 percent alcohol by volume. It's got 32 international bid units. It's got a, a color of SRM of four, and the hops in this are Columbus, Citra, and the malts are two row Vienna. Carapils, Crystal, White Wheat, and they, they're they basically, their house yeast is what they put in this. And most breweries have now their uh, house yeast that they do. It's a year round. They use the house yeast, which a lot of breweries do, use their own uh, house yeast. It's a year round brew. So, uh, a lot of information on Castle Island, the, the, the uh, brewery itself, the Castle Island brewery itself, of the island itself, Crescent. Uh, I got some information on that. Uh, basically, it's in South Boston, section of Boston. You know, Boston has a lot of sections. Uh, South Boston, East Boston, Charlestown, Dorchester, Jamaica Plain, Hyde Park, Alston, Bright. And that's probably a couple I forgot. I, I put a, did put in. Uh, but this is in the South Boston section, the island, not the brewery. The brewery's in Norwood. But Castle Island, it's named after, is in South Boston. It's located on Day Boulevard. It's really a fort. It's been a fort. It's been fortification since 1634. It's been a fortification fight between uh, the British and the French and uh, whatever countries were getting uh, land holes in the United States, Portugal, Spain, France, uh, I think even uh, Denmark uh, too. But anyways, uh, enough of the history. Back to this. In 1928, it was really an island. Now it's a peninsula. In 1920, they made it a peninsula. They filled it in, which most of Boston has been filled in, believe it or not. Most of Boston has been filled in. It's called Fort Independence. This was a British stronghold for many years until it was evacuated in, in March of 1776, the revolution that we won. And then it became a state prison for a number of years. During World War II, they had German prisoners there. That's the uh, history on Castle Island. And it's a, they say this is a reward for a job well done. Well, I uh, this is a Sunday here. 
and I did a job around the house and uh, so time for cold beer no further ado let's uh, crack this top and uh, see what we got I cleaned it it's clean all we got is a uh, Samuel Adams glass take pride in your beer they say and they, 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 that's another good brewery uh, Samuel Adams they have uh, two breweries one in Oh, they actually have three breweries, actually, three breweries, and one's in Boston. That's when they give it to us. The other two don't. One's in Ohio, and one's in Pennsylvania. But anyway, we're talking about uh, ca candle pin. I did see a little bit of aroma. I mean, a little bit of the uh, water vapors coming out. That was nice to see. Are they standing on, further on this? No, oh, look at that color of that. Let's get to a, a neutral side here. There we go. Look at the color of that. Isn't that nice? That's a nice looking beer. It's orangey. It's hazy. Got an orange head to it. Combination looks good on it. Oh, right away. Tangerine orange. Oh, the fine smelling brew. Grapefruit, pineapple, just maybe, maybe like the New England juice bomb. Definitely the aromas and the haziness of it is. Some fruity from all that orange and tangerine. What a fine, fine, fine smelling ale, I should say. I'm calling it a fine ale. All right, so happy session, ale. So no further ado, bottoms up. It's good. It's not a um, New England juice bomb. That's okay. It's in its own league. It's a hoppy session ale, and it is good. Mmm. That is good. What I'm tasting is the getting maltiness. Definitely citrus from the, the citrus hops. Very, very slight bitterness. The head dissipated fast, as you can see. There's a good taste in beer. It's, uh, biscuity, sweet. The sweetness is, I think, caramel. A caramel. Caramel taste. The flavor is caramel. Candle pin. So they say the name for candle pin is that. You can, uh, you're always getting a strike. No gutter balls with this. It's always down the middle and you get a strike. Mm. Definitely the body is medium. Average combination. If you can see the bubbles. We don't have the drone here. Mm. It is a fine drink of beer. I'll be sitting here finishing this up. Just relaxing. It's been a real sunny day here in Boston. That's why the cowboy hat, and uh, again, like I said, on how the cowboys could see with this hat, uh, particularly on the gun draw, <laughs> on how they did it. But this is Massachusetts, and uh, most times we don't wear cowboy hats. But anyways, uh, that said, this is a good beer, 4.4% ABV with 33, 32 international beer units. Mmm. It's full of flavor. Really, it's a flavorful beer. The, uh, the aromas from the pineapple, the grapefruit, tangerine, orange. Mm. The kind of uh, reminds me. It, 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 it's like towards a well, it's its own beer. It's an old IPA. I was going to say it's kind like a juice bomb, but it's not. The juice bombs are totally different. This is its own uh, session ale. It's very good. Uh, as I said, uh, did I say already that Beer Advocate gave it 3.97 out of 5. 3.97 out of 5. That's very good. I don't even think it should be in the 4s. Uh, that's how well brewed this is. Mm. So the brewery's in uh, Norwood, Mass. Brewing Canada, Castle Island Brewing, Norwood, Mass. There you go, folks. 
that said, have a good day. Enjoy the day. If you're going to drink, be responsible for what you do after you drink. Don't drive. The life you say, maybe your own. Okay, have a good day. Ciao.